you highlighted the re the the incoming upgrade, uh, which is Spectra, yep. and so yeah. it's it's going to be something that it, you know Ether price has already fallen what over fifty to sixty, almost sixty percent. Yeah, we're close to sixty percent from the January highs. Yeah. So meanwhile, the store of value narrative that we've been talking about for these other macro themes, like where do you see some potential for ETH, Ether, Ethereum falling this upgrade? Yeah, so I think first we should probably talk a little bit about the upgrade and what it's going to bring to Ethereum. So it's got two major components. It is a UX and a scaling component. So on the UX front right now, to U Ether, Ethereum's blockchain is pretty clunky to use. It's, if you're familiar with it, you have to go in and to do a swap, you'll have to approve a gas limit and then approve a connection to the wallet and then approve the actual swap. You're clicking multiple times, paying multiple fees. And that does make it difficult for non-crypto native users to get into it. So what Petra's UX upgrade is gonna do is it activates, I said, what's called account abstraction, which is gonna make these wallets programmable so you can batch all these transactions together and have a seamless one-click experience a lot like what's on solana and we saw drew you know 10 million users onto it in the span of 12 months so that's that's exciting on the usability front and then on the scaling front we have a couple of things we have a blob count increase which is going to make the layer two throughputs higher so what we're starting to see are shorter and shorter block times on layer two a lot of them going sub one second to get that instant settlement and what that's doing is creating more data blobs, which is making it more expensive to operate layer twos. The goal here is gonna to be to reduce that so that the transaction fees stay low at high volumes on L2s, which will be critical if you make it easier to use. 